Electricity is a mystery to many people, but some electrical projects, like wiring a switch, are so simple that anyone can do them. With just a few simple steps and the right knowledge, anyone can easily and safely wire a switch. Always turn the power off at the breaker before starting any electrical project. Once you've turned your power off, remove the switch cover and use a current detector to make sure there's no power going to any of the wires in the electrical box. If there's no power, you're ready to move on to the first step. Electrical wires and screw terminals are color-coded to help you match each wire to the correct terminal. But this doesn't mean that color coding is always a reliable guide. For example, sometimes white wires are used in place of black wires, and some devices, like outlets and lamps, can be wired backward and still work, even though this creates a potential shock hazard. Understanding the basics of electrical circuits and color coding will help you assess existing wiring and avoid some common mistakes with new installations. A simple standard electrical circuit has a black or red hot wire that carries power from the power source to the device. For example, a switch, a fixture, an outlet, or an appliance. A white neutral wire that carries the power back to the power source, and a green or bare copper ground wire that connects the device to the home's grounding system. A black or red wire usually connects to a brass colored screw terminal or black wire lead on electrical devices. A white neutral wire usually connects to a silver colored terminal or white wire lead. A green or bare ground wire almost always makes a ground connection, to a ground screw on a device, electrical box, or appliance case or to a green wire lead. Of course, there are always exceptions to the rule, and there are many legitimate and not so legitimate ways to wire devices that don't follow the basic color coding, so never make assumptions based on color coding alone. Single pole single throw switches have only two terminals, plus a ground screw, in newer switches. The switch terminals connect only to the hot wires in a circuit and are interchangeable, so the terminal screws are the same color. These switches don't typically connect to the neutral, so there is no terminal for the neutral wire. This is a simplistic schematic of what is going on. The hot wire is switched to the light with a neutral returning to the source. There are two ways that a switch can be wired to control a light. First of all, there will always be a two-wire cable connecting the switch to the light. Let's call it the connecting cable. A two-wire cable will have a black wire and a white wire and usually a ground wire. Then power has to be introduced to this circuit arrangement which is also done with a two-wire cable. Let's call it the power cable. It can be either brought into the light box, which holds the light. Or the power can be brought into the switch box, which holds the switch. Connections are then made in the boxes, that hold the light and the switch. This diagram shows the connections made inside the light box, and the switch box for the situation where the power cable comes into the light box. The first thing to note, is that the incoming ground wire from the power cable, is connected to the outgoing ground wire, in the connecting cable. The ground wire is also connected to the light box, and the switch box. There are ground screws in both of these boxes, which are indicated in our diagram by a round green spot. Newer switches will have ground screws, which must be connected to the ground wires. The white wire from the power cable, is connected to one of the terminals of the light, which is either a screw, or a white wire. The black wire from the power cable, is connected to the white wire of the connecting cable. This white wire enters the switch box, and it is connected to one of the two screws on the side of the single pole single throw switch. The black wire from the connecting cable is connected to the other screw of this switch. The black wire from the connecting cable entering the light box is connected to the other terminal of the light, which is either a screw or a black wire. Stay tuned to this site, as I will be diving into more information on electrical installations. In the meantime, Take advantage of the availability of my 50-page electrical power crib sheets, if you haven't already downloaded them. These are extremely valuable while viewing my courses, as well as a recall of the pertinent formulas and information after the fact. Simply fill out the information requested, when you go to this website. https, colon, forward slash, forward slash, lowercase bit, dot, ly, forward slash, 4, 7, uppercase y, uppercase b, 3, lowercase v and lowercase h. As I said, stay tuned for future releases on this site that will provide you with more on my courses. You can also directly access my stand store courses, at this website. https, colon, forward slash, forward slash, lowercase stan, dot, store forward slash, uppercase g, uppercase v, uppercase b.